This call is being recorded. Welcome to a diary of a fashion week for you guys. If I sound exhausted, that's because I am. Um, my schedule's finally normalizing again, which is a good thing. And for those of you who are still waiting for the pre-order link on my latest book, that <laughs> was a story in itself. Uh, Amazon flew back at me and said it can't do it. So I had to go through the draft the journal. Now, granted, it's Sunday. So, so Sunday, as we record this, Monday, is, you guys listen to it. So I may have it up um, Monday afternoon because it went through draft the journal. And draft the journal, thank God, has. Amazon as one of its partners, and I was able to do it. Um, I don't know why Amazon was such a sticky wicket in publishing books, but they are. They're not modern. They don't um, support us. Uh, um, that's, I nev- I'll never use Amazon again to publish a book in my life. And <laughs> you've heard me say that on Ask When before, and now you've heard me say it on the Diary of a Fashionista. But the good news is that I finally, 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 to um, I finally found links to my remastered audio book. I come a win, and Danielle has kindly stuck it um in the show notes for those of you on the Apple side. We, I actually have it everywhere. For those of you on the Apple side. Apple iBooks has it, and for those of you on the, I don't have it on ACX because it's already been published on ACX, and I know the CACX version is in Apple. I don't know why. I know why because they publish it through Apple too, but ACX is the main publisher. So if you guys um want to pick it up, you're more than welcome to it. But the surprising thing is it's um, on Google Play. You just have to type in I come on in. And Google Play is a sticky wicket on that one. And Google Play on the Android side. And then it's on Nook. And it's on Scribes. And it's on Rakuten Kobo. So um, Kobo's one of the bigger ones up in Canada. So it's everywhere, you guys, and it's um uh, you're looking for a cover um that says I come a win on it, and you're looking for aspen leaves and a pink lipstick cover. So when you see it, just type in I capital I come a win. So that's how we do it, and we produced it by a find a way voices, which is a better option than ACX ever will be. And so that's that. That's the good news on that. Please go check that out for those of you who are new to this um, program and don't know what I'm talking about. My uh, original legacy is now remastered. My original book is now remastered after nine years. And so I mentioned that on I. I mentioned that on Swin, and I finally got that project done. And so, please, if you haven't already, pick it up off um, the links I mentioned, or um, they will be on the show notes as well. And unfortunately, Danielle threw this one at me, and I said yes to it. And I say unfortunately because I'm not. <laughs> I'm. Not being the social butterfly today, I'm <laughs> being a tired, uh, tired when trying to get me organized to ask my schedule organized. But I, Danielle and I have decided that we should probably talk about being a social butterfly with CP. And I have decided <clears throat> that because of my CP, I am a home body. I am a homebody big time. Even though my brain doesn't um, act like it's disabled, 
my body does. My body does. And as I get older, the age of CP is catching up with me. I don't know whether it's grief or I don't know whether it's age. I think it's a combination of both because you got to remember, I just lost my dad in May and I lost my mom in 2010, nine years ago. But um, I think it's a combination of both. But next year, I'm actually doing, I put something out to the universe and we're working on it. <laughs> we're slowly but surely working on it. I'm actually doing one of my favorite things on the planet, which is traveling. Thank you very much. And I am working on going out to podcast movement. So for those of you who want to meet me in person and give me a hug and um, because I know that you guys have followed my journey a long way now uh, with my books and a long way with this podcast. And I, uh, I don't, I don't think Danielle may be able to come to the next one, but because um, the way the and I haven't told Danielle this, I'm telling you this, Danielle, publicly. The way um, CP works um, is if we get overstimulated, we shut down. So, uh, yeah, if we get overstimulated, we shut down. So that's why I'm saying that, Danielle, I will, I will, um, and you guys can tell me, those of you who have been there, um, I I think it would be easier for myself and my aide to go and then um my and then you you can come to the next one then you know because um I know a lot of people through this podcast have also been following your have also been following your journey but um I am just feeling that it's going to be way too much like Confidence is always on. Thank you very much. You go. Know, you don't stop at confidence. At least I don't. And at least um, the last one I went to, uh, the and I've been to Dallas before, so I kind of know my way around. So I'm working on that project, for you guys. I am just waiting for registration. But today we're going to talk about. Um, being a social butterfly with CP, and um, I'm extroverted all the way. I am, um, but I'm also a cancer. So when I get pushed, when I get angry, I, I go down quick. And I, so don't ask me too many difficult questions at podcast movement, you guys, because. Um, by the time it hits podcast movement, we've been doing this for a long time now. And so I feel like I'm a seasoned podcaster and ugh, I just couldn't get it together this year to go to Orlando, even though I had more options on me down to me in Orlando, but um, I just couldn't get get it together um, this time you guys to go to Orlando. But I will be trying to go to Dallas um, come the heck I want to because I want to see you guys in person. So that's my ultimate goal. And um, yeah, and so we'll see what, um, we'll see if I can pull magic out of a hat here. But Danielle, do you want, do you want to um, go ahead and start or do you want me to go ahead? Oh. Okay. okay, you go and then I'll jump in whenever you need me. I love to be a social butterfly online and in person with friends or at work. We need to be social butterflies so we can make friends and don't have to get stuck in our own houses. Well, that is the true statement, but 
Um, when you're going to brief slash a chronic pain condition like CP, um, you really have to be careful on how much you um, ex- extend um, your energy. And what ends up happening to me is I I go, I go, I go until I fall over. At this point, I'm about to fall, fall <laughs> over, you guys. Um, and then I have to go again starting in October. I'm actually giving myself the grace to take um, some ice off. And then I have to start going again in October. But I am extroverted all the way. People who know me in person say that I'm extroverted all the way. This is how Danielle and I act in real life. This is not uh, on um, my performance by any of us. And so I'm just a little bit of a homebody just because it requires... Even though I am a social butterfly, it requires help um, for me to be a social butterfly. And so that's why I'm a homebody, but yet I am a social butterfly. Yet I love I love the concept of journalism. Education is driving me nuts, and you people know that. And my support team knows that. And so um, once I become a full-fledged journalist, and once I get that under my belt, I will be back to being a social butterfly and still um, still doing work independently at home because I, um, I am not an introvert by any means. I am an extrovert. I'm just a homebody. <laughs> I am not kidding. I... Um, as I was telling my aide this morning, hotels and I do not mix uh, because of my bad back and because of my way of asking. Well, I shouldn't say my way of asking. I should say because I need help. Um, hotels and I do not mix. They're not handicapped accessible. And that said, we're um we're looking at Airbnbs in Dallas because it's gonna be the two of us and my stepmom my stepmom is not coming. She's going to be stuck at work and she doesn't even know we're planning this <laughs> I hate it. Um she doesn't even know yet we're planning this I hate it, I should say. So um I am a social butterfly don't worry, you can come and say hi. Um, I'm just going to be in my wheelchair half the time because it's easier. I mean, these convention halls are huge and these convention halls are huge. So I will not be up in my walker. Um, maybe one day I will. Maybe one day at the conference I will. But I will be in my wheelchair the mo- most of the time of um, a scooting the chairs with, with my age help. Which you you guys out there may you guys out there who know me as guys um, may have to help me and help my age because I just realized I just realized that with the two of us traveling, I just realized that it's me a little bit of an interesting show because um, I am used to a six put to two tall guy, uh, my dad grabbing me and moving me. So it's you got you guys literally you guys may have to help me into the chairs and stuff because I um, I just started that. And so what we're, we're gonna see. So you guys can come and say hi and I'll let you know when I officially have um, my ticket I checked the website today and then it didn't work. So I will let you guys know when I have my ticket and I am possibly looking at an Airbnb. So um, my aide and I will be off 
premises because that's going to be the easy end for us because um and trust me trust me it's going to be a little bit a little bit of an interesting show but i'm doing it i'm doing it for my fan base and my support team is coming along for the ride i mean we got to do what we got to do and this is something that I wanted to do every single year. Now is the time to do it. Now that I'm retired from education and now that I'm a journalist and an author and um, continuing my journalism degree. And so I, I just think we need to be social butterflies, those of us who can handle it, but those of us who can or who are homebodies can handle it too. I mean, I will sit sit here and read books all day if you let me. I said read book as in read books on my phone, not read a paperback book because I can't hold one. But I do like uh, I do like the social aspect. I am an extrovert when it comes down to it. I'm just a homebody and a homebody that didn't see her home. Um, for the month of May, no, for the month of May, I didn't see my home, and for about a week, I didn't see my home, and then when I got home, I was so exhausted that uh, I said to my spot team, if I, if I am never so happy to see a bed in my life, my bed, I, uh, you'll understand why, because we spent a week dealing with my dad and dealing with a hotel. And um, that's when I decided. And I remember recording podcasts via Welcome to Journalism down in Denver. That's when I decided I am a social butterfly, but I'm also a homebody because um, that's the way I roll. That's the way CP is. And if I was able to body and didn't have all this stuff that I'm dealing with, I would be more of a social butterfly. I don't doubt it. But because of CP, um, I have to manage my energy. And so, um, you guys, don't be feeding me chocolate and podcast movement. Yeah. I have, no, don't be feeding me wine either, because I have given up those um, too. And so, I will do well with the podcast movement. People, people will just stimulate the heck out of me. And even though I'm a home, a home money, when I have to put shoes on to go outside, I'm ready to do it. And so I'm just a home body. And um, even though I'm extrovert, I'm just a home body. I know that. Um, I know that most podcasters, believe it or not, Dan, you're most podcasters are introverted and I want to know from you guys on the diary of a fashionista um, Twitter I have a question for you guys how many of you listening to this podcast are um, introverted and do a podcast that makes you extroverted how many of you are extroverted and get scared of the microphone I mean it happens to the best of us and the um, I think my aide, who is a uh, um, she was an introvert. I made I made her an uh, extrovert by accident, <laughs> and now she um, now she's a complete. Um, she's a little bit of a both actually. She's um, and you'll meet you'll meet her if she's still working for me in 2020 in August and um, even even if she's not we're going to do it as friends and so um, she is just a little bit of uh, into, she was more of an introvert when I met her and then she um, I broke I broke her which I tend to do I because people love my story and people love 
my personality. I tend to break people down to help me and talk to me. And I, that's because that's um, why I'm becoming a journalist. That's because I feel like these stories need to be told. And I feel like I am doing a good job because I do have that different perspective. So I feel like um, when I break people down, I feel like they can um, tell me anything and they um, they can just confide in me. And that's what I hope to do. That's what I hope to leave a legacy with. Um, and I have seen more SHIT in my life than you guys can shake a stick at. And as I said, thank you for uh, being on this journey with me, you guys. And thank you for being on the Ass Win journey, even though Ass Win has disappeared for a couple of weeks now. And Ass Win will be getting slowly but surely back up on our feet. Um, I'm talking about the podcast, not me. And as when uh, we'll be getting up and functioning again as of, what did we say, Danielle? We hope Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday? Okay. We hope Wednesday. We, we hope to pull Babbitts out of a hat, Lipson. We hope Lipson pulls Babbitts out of a hat. And the guys are at Lipson. Who've been wonderful. Simple cast, not so much. Simple cast. Yeah. You guys have been a stickerman. So, um, and I'm happy to pay the fees, and then Yale's happy to help me. So, um, that's where we stand at that. And so, Danielle, do you want to say anything else about being a social butterfly with CP? I. Uh, no. No, no, you are not to be out and about your own to hang out at home. See, I knew it. See, I knew it. Um, Danielle and I have a bold body brain, or bodies are not a body. And I knew, I knew that about you. I've known that about <laughs> you for twenty years plus. Um, that when we and we don't do well with cold, so after a day of snowboarding and pain and cold, and <laughs> Danielle yeah. and I, Danielle and I, the last thing we want to do is um go hang out. And that's how we that's how we hang out, you guys. It's going on snowboarding dates, um, which yeah, which I'm still planning to do this year. I just haven't filled out the application yet for that uh, because they want too much information out of me. But um, that's okay. I'm still planning to do snowboarding dates. I just have to be. Now I'm getting like my dad. I just have to be really really careful because of my age and CP, and um, if I go down, I can't, um, I won't be able to recover as quickly as I could with with my circumstances in life. So, Danielle and I will still go snowboarding, but we're, we're going to get easy this year. I, I don't know. Um, I I don't know about you, Danielle, but I, I know with me that age and CP are catching up with me, you guys, and I, that's why I'm slowly but sure, surely retiring from education and becoming a journalist, so I do have to be a social butterfly. I have enough energy to do it, and... Um, that's what happens as we get older. We um, our bodies catch up with us, and our bodies is a revolt, or they keep going strong. Mine has kept going strong, considering I have CP. Danielle's has kept going strong, but 
as I said, we eat really healthy. We try and exercise. We try and maintain our CP as if um, there is nothing wrong. But at the same time, we're extroverted, but homebodies. And that's what I've decided. I decided that when um, my dad was diagnosed with um, cancer and I have decided that. So, um, Danielle, do you want to say anything before we get out of here? And I'm looking for my cell phone charger. So if you guys hear me walking and while Danielle's finishing, that's mine. Although my phone is doing well. That's the way I will. I will with a dead podcast. And so, Danielle, do you want to... Um, Say anything before we get out of there and my phone complete dies. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for following us and happy Monday. And let's make this a good week and um, share this podcast out. I know that, uh, well, I won't, say, I won't. I won't say my next comment because I know that some airplanes are doing um, ex- exclusive deals with Spotify. I know that Delta Delta came out of the woodwork and said we're doing an exclusive deal with Spotify, and I don't know many other airlines that are doing uh, exclusive deal with Spotify and so Delta is the first one hopefully United and hopefully Frontier if they get their act together I say Frontier because I uh, that's what my aid to use over the weekend and so yeah and she said they don't necessarily have to act together yet and so hopefully Frontier comes into um the London space of podcasting, but I know Delta um, is, and I I know I that's why I keep saying Delta is my favorite airline because they're nice to the disabled and uh, they actually have modern technology on their planes. And I don't know about Southwest of you guys, but I will keep you guys abreast of if any other airlines. Um, do anything with Spotify because that is thankful that they have Delta has done an exclusive deal with Spotify and so thank you for following us you guys and have a great Monday and um, answer the question again the question is how many of you are extroverted um, off the mic and then how many of you are introverted off the mic and does the podcasting might scare you. And so answer that question on Twitter and then you will put our Twitter in the show notes. It's at a diary of a fashion. It's a one. And you can just type a diary of a fashion to find us. And then we will see you guys on Thursday for um, Friday's episode. And then you guys can... Um, support me on the non moms happy hour when it comes out. I'm recording with Kelly Mensall and Debbie Joe tomorrow, and we'll see what um lands up happening with that. That should be a lot of fun, and we appreciate the support. And go check out my audio books, you guys, and go support Danielle and make this world a better place, you guys. Thanks to you guys. Bye. Bye.